Good Hi. evening. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. MJ. And together we are Matu Crafts. Welcome to our channel. So today I'll be doing a couple of uh, treat boxes um, using the festive and fun and other Sampin' Up products to decorate it. So yes, you may have seen the treat boxes uh, shared on our social media and blog. Uh, but yes, I'll be recreating those for you this evening. Uh, if you are new to the channel um, and watching the replay, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer, as we will say hello to those of you who have joined us live. Thank you so much. And this is Tommy. Yes. So, oh, am I doing it now? Yeah, you, oh, well, okay. you got your All right, hand I'm... on the mouse. <laughs> so we have got Pauline. Hello to you. We've got Charlotte. Um, hi, Keisha. We've also got Cheryl. Um, we have got Kathy. Mary and and Connie, Caroline and Margaret. Good evening hello, to hello. you all as well. Yes, and Charlotte, you are right. Shouldn't take him long. So uh, doesn't he look amazing? <laughs> anyway, shall we move on? Yes. Okay. So Tommy has um, promptly just sat down there. So um, anything else you'd like to add? No. I don't think so. So yeah, so Jay's going to be using you're going to be using some of your coloring masterclass sort of things from yes. last night, aren't you? Yes. So, I'll so share those. yeah, so what, last night we had our coloring masterclass with the festive and friends, um, Fun. which was festive and um, I'm thinking of chocolate biscuits. Sorry, <laughs> the festive festive friends. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's Cabra's chocolate biscuits here which come out at Christmas and they're called Festive Friends so I've just, I've just got chocolate biscuits on my mind <laughs> Festive and Fun um, so yeah so we fun. had our Festive and Fun um, colour and masterclass last night and so Jay's going to be using some of the images which he used and coloured last night and I've been given a some to fussy cut out so we're just going to hand you straight over to Jay we'll go camera down and let's crack on yes We'll just wait for Tommy just to wait move. wait for Tommy to, because he's spread out across the two of us. There we go. Come on. So, yes, yeah, so festive and fun. Thank you so much for um, joining our live coloring online class. But replay is available uh, for booking still on our website. Um, and you'll automatically get sent the link to the private YouTube um video so yes yeah, so you have four or five images really with the small birdie so um i have done the coloring already for those so i'll just quickly share you can't really see so that one's the tiniest bit the fastest coloring ever <laughs> but i shared how to do the the robins or the birds the what is it beavers <laughs> Moose, the moose, the rhino with the gifts, and the giraffe. So yeah, so if you would like to practice your coloring with stamping blends, uh, do check that out on our website. Um, so just put that aside. What else have we got? So for today's treat box, I'm actually going to be using the envelope treat boxes. So it comes in a pack of 20, uh, pre-scored, pre-cut, and it also got a seal. That looks like a wax seal, I guess. Uh, so I'll be doing that. They're so easy to make up because they're already pre-cut pre and pre-scored. Um, but I will be doing some decoration. So... I've got a piece of balmy blue and I'll need to punch out some white. I'll just get some white. That'll be big enough. So first things first before I start doing the doing the box, I will just make up my elements. So the other products that I'll be using are Abundant Beauty, it's quite a lot, uh, two inch punch, <laughs> and loads of embellishments. So we have the festive pearls, the gold and silver trim combo, 
jeté. <laughs> and the textural elements, I forgot we had these. Um, they're not in the catalog, but they are online, available online. So it's like wood elements in berries. Is that everything? I think that is everything. So that's all for later. I'm just gonna punch out two inch punch. Here we go. And we are going to use the snowflakes. So this abundant beauty decorative mask, there are seven mask or stencils and four of them are layerings one two three four yeah so you can build up your sunflowers or other flowers that you want to make with it uh, and you have the house tooth as well which you may have seen from our unboxing i haven't played with hounds tooth yet i don't think Ooh, i keep doing that I can't put it back in. <laughs> huh? There you go. So yes, yeah, so I'll just get myself some ink, uh, blending brush, and some papers. And I'm going to use boho blue. Let's just see. Yeah. So just randomly add some ink blending. So circular motion, most of it will be covered anyway. Um, but it just gives a bit of texture for the, I guess, belly band. But it doesn't act as a belly band because it stays in place. I didn't stick it down. Amazing, thank you. That was a quick um, fussy cutting for me. And then I'm just gonna move along. The, the sides um, or both ends, shall I say, will be at the back. But that is, I did, did I say the measurement? <laughs> I don't think I did. That one is 10 inches by one and a quarter, or that is 25.5 by 3.2 centimeters. And I also do one for this one. Hi, Amanda. And as I said, most of it will be covered with the um, festive and fun anyway. So I'm kind of like wanting the edges. Oh, that, that move did it. Just go with it. <gasps> yes, it's fine. And then just without re-inking, I'm just going to edge it. the bow punch as well neutrals so I have my strip and my circle I'm just gonna punch a couple of the flourish or bow punch where are you? Did I move it? Okay. 
and I just want the bottom one. So if you want to save, I guess, um, cardstock, just cut a thin uh, strip. But I'm just gonna, we got plenty. So just do two of those. <laughs> what did I do that was confusing? <laughs> no, it's me. I oh, okay. On my, um, on my personal oh, YouTube I see. Account. I don't have admin access on that. Yet. <laughs> I'm us I see. Um, so that is the bow punch. I'm just gonna quickly shape that. The side of the paper snips, not the open side, not the sharp edge. And just press it against your finger or use the pierce mat. I know, um, was it Charlotte? You said you get two lines, it doesn't matter because I get that as well. Uh, but if you angle it slightly. You should only just get one just because of um, the side is obviously it's thick so this two it creates two lines so that's done what else do I need I think that is it oh stamping I do need to stamp for the stamping I'm only get, just going to do the sentiment um, and I'm gonna use just a small one for you so um, marker to stamp technique or selective stamping which I like doing with sentiment <laughs> because why not or of course use a different stamp so marker marker is this the new one yes that is so using the brush tip just ink up your uh, selected words or you can um, mask the rest of it I find this is just slightly faster half on it that's done what else do I need to do I think that is pretty much it okay let us make up the box so the treat box is uh, I believe it's food safe it's it is food safe and it's shiny ish on the inside um, it's matte on the outside so you can uh, if you want to you can also use some ink blending on there i might as well just do extend so this that is the back so i, I will be using the back more but i will just what is the best way so you can do all of it I wasn't planning on doing it. I'm just going to do it this way. Yes, let's do that. And 
just gonna add a bit more just to finish that edge off again I think this is gonna be at the back actually it'll be at the back so but you can just continue on if preferred I went a bit over there but hey ho <laughs> hello Lani hi Janice so there right just so yeah so this one is we're just gonna fold all the score lines uh, in or inwards so where the bump is just fold it in just how you would do a cardstock and just go all the way around is that everything oh, one more no that is everything so I'm just gonna check okay. so to make it up you would normally take off all of the tabs and link the up like that so link the up take off the tabs and then that closes up but i'm changing it slightly so my um my box open from the top opens from the top <laughs> so i'm just gonna take off one side Luther just said he said shine your name so could it could it go the other way I think it's slightly coated so that's why it's food safe um, so if you're not if you're not gonna kind of like have food in it or like if it's in the wrapper then it doesn't matter I guess but it, because it's shiny i doubt that the ink it'll take longer for the ink to dry on there so just um, bear that in mind so i oh um i un took off the backing where that lip is and i'm gonna stick that down so it's probably easier to do that and then just bump it up yeah no <clears throat> I thought it I was just gonna do it but if you work one at a time and then line up the side and then stick that down and then do the second one it's bet it's just makes it Uh, more straighter if I did it all in one go it, it won't happen it won't happen so now it's slightly warped but that I'm, li I'm leaving it like that so then you can close it when you close it 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 kind of like makes the side the same width so that is now my box so there we go so I'm going to wrap my thing belly band on the center and no measurements. I'm just going to like eyeballing it and then just wrap it go. and then do the same for the other side and then glue. Can I use my seal plus? <laughs> oh, always looking to use some seal plus. If I can do it. Yes, I can. You can do it. So that is done. If you want it to be a bit more secure, or um, you can stick that belly band on there, but I won't. Are you straight? Okay, that's why I like <laughs> just make sure it's nice and tight. There you go. 
go. So that is now done. Where's my top? That's my top. Okay. So now we're just gonna decorate with a couple of other ribbons. So I have the wavy trim. I'm just going to use that for my loop on top. In blue dot. Hi, Charlie. Cheryl. Cheryl, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you put it on there as well, sorry. <laughs> So I'm just adding that on there. <laughs> I like that. Charlotte said, oh, look, Barry, a belly band that doesn't have to be moved. Uh -huh. Great. <laughs> Great. And I'm just going to eyeball that in the center. Press on it a bit more, a bit more, and with the trim, where is my trim? There, ah, uh, not trim, textural elements. Did I use two? Okay, I, I know the pack has twenty, but I actually cut, <laughs> I cut one bit off. Um, is it uh, this? Two, just double check. So I'm just gonna cut off so I can have two <laughs> because I'm stingy. So that can just be added on. Um, I'm just gonna stick this down so I know the placement of it. So I'm just gonna add Oh, in the center. And then this should be, this can be glued with dumbbell. You can also color these, but it the color might seep into the wood so it won't be as vibrant. I haven't actually tried it. So let's try it at some point. I could always try it on the back. Um, ink, let's do blends. Mostly meadows. Oh, sorry. Ooh, grainy. That looks nice. I was using the bullet there. So you still get the texture from the textural element. So if you want to, you can do that. It, but I won't. I just wanted to <laughs> see if it worked. So I'm just going to add this on. Gonna go under if card is can you show to me? Oh, what's that? Sorry, what was that, Mary? The card. Right now that is done. So because it's already 3D, I don't mind that it's going to be double dimensional, <laughs> which I'm going to double dimensional it. So that's just going to go up top. It's 
it's going to go there. There's a lot of elements, but I oh, quite Mary was just asking like about the, the boxes. She's um, she's she missed the part. Can you just show her they're from a, they're pre, they're a pre patch a pack? Yes, so Mary, it's called the envelope treat boxes, um, packs of 20. It's pre cut and pre scored, so it's quite easy to make up. And you don't even have to glue it, so then you can just reuse it or decorate it and then glue it when you need it. Glue it together. Um, now, where is my pre cut mousse? Did I bring it here or did I leave it up there? Yeah. I've lost my mousse. Uh, so that is done. I'm just gonna get. Where's your moose? My moose. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to fuss it out another one. He's lost his moose. Okay, sit down for a moment. Let me have a little. Oh, look. there, it's there. I put it in my tub. Thank you for getting up. <laughs> I'm watching. So with the shoot, I used in the original uh, wild wheat, just for contrast, the, the boho blue in the wild wheat looks quite nice. Is Moody move? No, I'll, I'll go wild wheat. Um, I'm just gonna run my finger in between, finger and thumb even, just to un tangle or untwist it uncurl it and I'm just gonna <laughs> and then I'm gonna curl it again but it just stops it from being too curly and again that's just gonna get added on Ooh, a bit more underneath Ooh, it's quite big sorry right and glue dot and where, where are you gonna go Oh, I forgot the, uh, some more stuff. <laughs> the other trim. So I, I'm going to add this one is the, what is this one? Iridescent ribbon. I'm just going to add a layer of that. Just a small one. Just because we have it, might as well use it. And One or mini glue dot will be fine. Okay, so in the original, I did this above or underneath, actually, underneath. Can I do it? Oh, I can. Apologies, but I want to see the leaves. <laughs> Broken leaves now. It's autumn. There and then just re stick this on top. Got a bit, and then the gold trim. A sliver just to add a bit more uh, different look. So, on one side it's full gold, on the other side it's got a white in the center, which I do prefer. Can I do this way? I'm 
just tucking in the excess just in case that gets shown. Linda's just asked about Christmas pudding if we, if we, if we have it here, which we do. I don't really like it though, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we I do. I prefer a mince pie. We do have it. But have we had it in the past couple of years? No. I don't think we have. Right, I'm just trimming my jute. And then finish up with the mousse. And because it's all kind of like going mostly on there, all I need is. dimensional on some areas and down here mini 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 so this was supposed to be a casual <laughs> casual box well um, it's just loads of elements isn't it I think it's casual <laughs> Do you agree? Casual for you. Casual for me. Oh, don't get tangled up. Here we go. And then we're just going to add our sentiment on top there. That can just float on air. Floating in the air, and then finally, have I actually done everything? Yeah. Lastly, the festive pearls, or it, when we got it, it used to be called red and green adhesive backed pearls, but I think it's called festive pearls now. And just gonna add three on there. One and a two and a three. And that is my box. Hopefully you enjoy that um, and make up some more boxes, change it up. So it's open top and you can hang it. Uh, obviously, depending on how weighty it is, uh, you might want a stronger a stronger glue for the wavy trim if you're gonna have it as a or you can even do like um, 12 days of Christmas I wasn't gonna do oh you can do 24 I guess you you just need two packs what's it called advent calendar that's that's what I meant <laughs> are they in the store yet well, what's in the stores Oh, the um, pudding, Christmas pudding. That's starting to. Right, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit. So still time to um, get our free card kit end class for September. Scan that QR code and you'll be put into our website or our online shop with the host code, host code already in place so just order 50 pounds worth of products uh, before PNP and you will qualify for the free card kit and class and you'll also receive tutorial bundles designed by the global creative project and the crafty collaborations theme which is I think it's 67 um, tutorials this month next month it'll be different um, as we do it every month Right, I'm just gonna quickly clean these. So for my second one, uh, um, the box is already pre-made, which is using the in-color treat bag. So I've, again, I repurposed, um, changed it up. If you would like to see how I created the box out of the bag, uh, it the video is on our 
channel. Uh, maybe Barry can find it and add the link. What tag again, sorry? The in color bag. So yeah, so that bag is two inches by five inches and the depth is one and a quarter so longer one so you can have it as a top opening so it falls down or a side opening really doesn't matter um, not too weighty I guess but chocolates will fit in nicely and Barry's kindly fussy cut this giraffe for me with the tree and this one um, I think one of my samples so I'm just thinking whether to cut in between I won't <laughs> because that's just too much <coughs> <coughs> so because it's already got the top on there with the finger lift doesn't really need anything else the original uh, that I made I'll show you in a sec but I will just get some stuff for that so I'll be using the same products with my jute textural elements and just building up um, elements underneath the image colored image So I will just get the dust lagoon. Uh, yeah. Crumb cake, we'll go crumb cake. So I'll just do a couple more of the bow, bows, bows. So just shape those quickly. I tend to shape my leaves just all the same. Some people twist it and um, make it more grungy or just leave it flat. I don't know, I, I just like adding a bit of height to it, make it heighty, make the leafings heighty, <laughs> heighty leafings. <laughs> anyway, is it going to be enough? So most of it will be coming out. And yeah, okay. So seeing as I did my um, coloring earlier, I'm just going to color this in light mossy meadow so it matches. Ooh, why is that? There's a line there. It looks like a tennis ball. <laughs> um, it matches the tree or you can do a lighter color old olive. But I have a feeling that the color will seep into the wood so it, hopefully I'm hoping that it will dry slightly lighter um, I'm not using the brush tip just in case um, I make it hurry what what you call it <laughs> too quickly Cool. I'm going to do another one. So that one is that way. So if I do the other side, 
and I probably won't see all of these anyway. There we go. Who else have got these and forgotten? Uh, we, I think it was from last last year's catalog, mini catalog, and it was gonna be it stayed on or something. Right, what else have we got? You right? Yeah, I just finally found the video. Early. Okay. Yeah, it's the one before we went on holiday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. There. And, okay, I... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. So I'm just going to add something to keep that up as well. We can do... Ooh. Can I actually, ooh, bear with, can you see it? I was thinking, oh, maybe I should do some ink blending with the house tooth, but because of the, I'm gonna do it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna cut it. Thanks, Barry, you've done most of it, but I'm just, I just want the inside. I thought you might have done, but I wasn't going to. Yes. So talk amongst yourself. I'm just wanting to fussy cut the inside. Amongst. amongst. What, what? Amongst? How do you say it? Stop. Stop it. What? What? How do you say it? Amongst. 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 <laughs> You're mean. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah. Oh, I went too far in. Sorry, is there anything else you want to talk about? <gasps> Our next um, class is with, well, the coloring class will be with Saint Nick. Saint Nicholas, uh, is that what it's called, Barry? Um, I think it is, yeah. So yes, yeah, so you can book in for that, or uh, we do a membership for the coloring you get six months for the price of five months and you get access to previous classes um, from when it started so from May this year we were, so we've already had five classes including festive and fun and I've done a couple of lives in the private Facebook group as well um, some of it was just card uh, card making with the colored images and some are um, or last month it was with coloring the cheerful daisy so I'm gonna try and do some more like that so I'm not just so it's more coloring extra content with coloring but we will see but if you do have any questions just let us know um, or Barry can pop in the link to the coloring master class that looks better doesn't it okay so that is done I'm going to houndstooth it this time with two three eighths of an inch is it? I'll see how big that is. Two, three, eights, of course. 
but is it too big? It's not that big. Linda's, I don't know if you just saw it, so I was looking at Linda Sosby says it's a reminder when the color and membership is about to run out. It should be on auto. Um, so yes, yeah, so it should be on auto uh, renew. But um, yes, if you want to be reminded, I can have a look and let you know. So that one's the two inch. I think I prefer that one. Just so it's a small one. Right, let us do this. So the how to do, which is... there so picking up so we have wild wheat um, on there I think brown let's go brown we pecan there's pecan pie there copper clay what's the other in colors oh pebble pa I'll, I'll go pecan Let's go back can. Oh, that's quite dark. second layer you're right yeah probably an asked question are the boxes in the mini catalog or the main catalog they're in the main they're in the page yeah. one, two, six. thank you charlotte so you can readjust it and then add a second color you could also just offset it slightly so you have a bit of white showing through if you prefer it that way Uh, pebbled, I'm gonna go pebbled or no gray granite, something lighter. Do I have any? Yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> it's gray now. Pumpkin pie. Yeah, I don't think we will have pumpkin pie, have we? Not that I can think of. Um, I used to have when I was a kid pumpkin soup, um, as in like for dinner with rice, and I didn't. I wasn't when I was. I didn't really like vegetables when I was. I did them now, but um, yeah, yeah, that looks all right. So that's kind of like just to have something in the background. Here we go, and I'm just gonna edge a little bit and finish up. Let's go. So that one on top. I'm going to do it the other way. There's two sides. So nearly done. <laughs> Who's crafting along? Trisha's gone, so I still hate veggies long. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mind them now. But we don't have vegetables that much, not really. No, um, but if yeah, it, if we have veggies, I think when we go to mum's for dinner. Yes, <laughs> if it gets put in front of me, I eat it. Um, or 
I guess I'll try it because I there are some that I don't like but I can't think of anything on top of my head like um, you don't like eggplant do you or aubergine mm, not from love or that see again another dish that we that I used to have when I was younger it's just um, eggplant with um, omelette and we'd have that with rice that was nice I haven't had that like you barbecue it and make it ch char ch char 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 grilled <laughs> oh, <laughs> char 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 <laughs> Why are you laughing? So I do like my um, diagonals. So I'm gonna go with that. So eggplant and zucchini can rot in the field as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> they have their places. That's funny. Yeah. It. I guess it depends on the dish. I guess, isn't it? What are you gonna be? Should be enough. Are we chatting and tidying after this, Joe? If you want to. Yeah. Ooh, you're not sticking. Stay right. I'm just gonna quickly add some on the other side, add a bit more glue. Okay, not too much. So, yeah, um, it's not really. Well, I, I guess you can still case it. it, it's, but I just like the idea of decorating this box as well and the first one because I shared it as a tutorial, as a written tutorial. Um, I think some people um, didn't realize it was written tutorial. Um, so I thought, well, I'll share a video of it. I'm just going to double that up because... That doesn't look like it's gonna stay on. And is that central? Yeah. We'll go with blue this time. Boho blue. Can I add more? Ooh, what's that one? <laughs> that looks nice together, but it gets lost on that. Oh, never mind. So again, I'm just gonna do a double loop. Mini glue dot. And oh. so Barry, when's your video? Barry um, recorded a video this evening. It'll when's that coming? The first, whenever that is. Which that Sunday? Oh, is that Sunday? Isn't it? Yeah, so Sunday at 6 o'clock, we will have a Stamp Around UK video, and then we'll be on live at 7 o'clock. Wow. Busy, busy. Yeah, apologies, I forgot my um, my premiere uh, for the Global Stamping Video Hop with the simple one-layer card or something, I think it was. At least you put volume on it this time. Uh, yes, at least I did. 
and I'm sure that was the first video that I did before the other one oh well so I'm just gonna add another layer on there on there so it will be floating but if you want it a bit more secure you can add triple layers to there so I'm kind of like losing that a bit so I will just do Did I say half an hour ago? <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> well, I thought I was nearly done, but clearly not. Are you going to stick? Yes. That is a lot bigger than I wanted, but as Barry wants to finish up. I'm just going to leave it like so and might as well use these. Uh, what sentiment? Does it need a sentiment? Let us know in the comments. I'm always, sometimes I, I don't like adding sentiment, especially if it doesn't really go. For you, I guess, is um, quite. Ah, that is a gift. Mm. And it's really big, isn't it? So big. <laughs> no one's gonna watch the replay on this. Ah, <laughs> there. Are you gonna stay? This is why it takes me so long. There we go. And embellishment. So I want something big. We do have... What's a big one? Fake one. Ooh, in color, yeah. In color dots to finish up, and I probably used. So we have the yellow or pebble paw. So I tend to like squint. The yellow I want to keep for the star. We'll go pebble paw. Yeah. So one, two. A small one, a small one. Hide one. Peekaboo. <laughs> and there. What did uh, everyone say with the sentiment yay nay just finish up okay well there what sentiments are in the set I don't know because it's here so yeah happy Christmas wishes I guess you can do or may your season be one that's festive and fun um, I'm gonna keep it 
So festive and fun would be would have been nice. Festive and fun. But I'm gonna leave it like that. So yeah, make it um use your colored images to decorate boxes or treat box bags. Um so if you uh this one as well, um the bag was created from the other video so you can just do a tag on there so what other ones was in there so maybe the rhino dangling <laughs> oh you can do a slide it can slide along maybe that's for next time <laughs> or maybe not <laughs> so yes so that's that one and the original is this one maybe and also this one, if you haven't seen it, I used the paper florist just to create three sections. I did um, ask Barry whether he wanted to do three beavers, but he, I gave him the option. So that's why I didn't know what I was gonna do yet. It was three beavers or it was, um, or the or giraffe. It was a giraffe. So I went yeah. with the giraffe. But I really like that color of wild wheat on with um, Lost Lagoon. Yes. And some jute. Cute, I love those, it's lovely. Lovely boxes, well done. And lovely colouring too. Thank you. So, well done, Jay. So, let's come over to us. Lovely, excellent. So, I hope you have enjoyed that this evening. Um, we will be going on to zoom in a moment i did post a link here but i also have um posted it in the crafty stampers um facebook group as well so quickly copy that um and yeah we'll go over there so if you want to come and have a little chat with us you can do um if not we will be back with you again on Mm -hmm. Friday, um, fr either Friday or Funfold Friday if we've got anything planned. If not, it will be Sunday. Yes. Um, what else is happening Friday? Friday. Nothing else is happening. Oh, it's Fab Instahop tomorrow, which is Halloween movie. Uh, so check that out on Instagram. Um, and I'm also... It's nice. I've seen the, seen the yes, card. Yes, it's, it's, it's quite layered. Nice. Um I'm also surprise, gonna. Surprise. I'm also gonna submit it for the global design project, um, which is a color challenge this this week. Excellent. So GDP, yeah. Yes, global design project. Yes. Cool. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Lovely. Um, and we'll we will see, see you again soon. Yes. Um, hopefully, we'll see some of you on the Zoom in a second. Cool. See you soon. Take okay. care. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.